Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Aaron. And we're Husband and Husband. So Halloween is our favorite holiday, so all of our story times this month are gonna be Halloween themed. All of them? All of them. All of them. All of them. Awesome. All of them. <laughs> all of them. All of them. So guys, uh, so today we have a really cool one that happened this year, early this year. Oh my god, that was this, this year? Yeah, that, it seems like so long ago. That was this year. <gasps> It was during our trip to Paris yeah, for so our, uh, what was it? It wasn't our anniversary, was it? We should give a history lesson for anyone who's not familiar with the catacombs. I didn't know about the catacombs, like, when I, I first heard about, about them. I just knew there bones in there. I didn't know anything about this. <laughs> but we learned a lot while we were there, and so we planned out our vacation in Paris, and on one of the days we wanted to go see the, the catacombs. Knowing our morbid ass selves, we had to do something, because we're always about the dark stuff. All of the things you write are dark. All the things I draw like normally are pretty dark. We love darkness, even though we're super light and we love life and we love everybody, we have like a dark side that's just there. Right? Like, just like I don't know how to explain it. Everything like, dark, is dark. Not bad, bad dark, just like we like the darkness. The first time we went and we started it was a huge line and it started to rain. And so we said, forget this, let's go to Disneyland. And we ended up going to Disneyland. Disneyland Paris, yeah. yeah. And so we ended up coming back the next day. And um we waited the what three hours in it was the line. Two hours. It, it felt like three. Right when you you're waiting in line, you get into this like green little hut. Yeah, you go into a shed that looks like it's gonna lead to like a oh, secret passage to talk or something. About the, the, the background. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rewind. So the catacombs. All about the catacombs. Okay. So what happened is, I think it was the 1700s. Was it like medieval back times? Back check me, you guys. Yeah, but back check. I think it was the 1700s where the churches in Paris used to get their money for um, for uh, burying bodies in the courtyards, in the graveyards. And um, But there's so many dead bodies that the city was starting to smell like decay. And so they needed to come up with a different plan. And that plan was to create the catacombs. And it's like this underground miles upon miles of tunnels where they would just store dead bodies. So over the years, these catacombs that were like miles long, so many tunnels like going every which way, like a labyrinth, it was a freaking dark labyrinth. Yeah. And there would be so many things like people would go down there and never be seen again because it's so dark and so there's deep. There's no way out. There's well, no there is a way out, but there's no, there's no, if you go there at night, there's you're no lost. There's no map. There's not yeah. like a real map. So there's like these tunnels down there in the catacombs and then all of a sudden there's like this just cave in and then on the other side there's like more tunnels but people don't know what's on the other side of the tunnels because of all the cave ins and so it's not mapped or it's not properly mapped. So it created even more tunnels, like yeah. more passageways, more different ways. People during modern times people say that like homeless people started to live out there, like squatters we started to live go down there, in tunnels. But we went there <laughs> and um, it, when you look it up it's like you think you're gonna go on a tour. And it's like a it's museum. Guided. Yeah, it feels like <laughs> it gets that museum feel where you're gonna get guided by someone and take you through. But you, you know. don't. So we waited in the line for two hours. You would think with waiting in a line for two hours that it would um, be just crowded with people down there, but it's not. So you first go into this little hut and you buy your tickets and then you go through this turnstile. There's a lot of people in line. But when you get there, it's it's a lot smaller because they only let a certain amount of people through to give you that experience to be able to experience it. The staircase drops you off in this little like chamber room where there's pictures on the wall and talks about the history. Everyone there I think was um, French because people moved through it really, really fast. They were in that room and the, the room was a, not crowded but there was probably about like 10 people I would say. The first room, the first all room. the information. Yeah. There's like a boxy room where it's like all these but, scrolls yeah. and different But we were taking a while because so we're like, oh, we were cool. listening to the girl translate and it was taking us longer. <sighs> and so we were going to picture to picture and then all of a sudden we look and there's no one there. And we're just by ourselves. And there, no one was coming down the stairs. Right, so we had the whole history in our heads of like all these crazy things that happened and we're just standing there and after hearing all the history like, okay, we're alone now. Like, I can't. crap. So no one was coming down I the can't. spiral. I know, no one was coming down the spiral staircase. So we were like, okay, I guess we have to move on by ourselves. So you go into the hallway. Well, it looks like a hallway. It was a cavern. It was odd, like, like ever. And it, the ceiling starts going dipping down and it gets more narrow. And so you start walking in there. And by the way, the only sign they have is 
don't touch the skeletons. So and we're walking down this cavern. There's it's no cavern. security down there. There's no workers down there. There's no one passing us down there. Nope. There's no map on how There's, to get there. And it's like a tunnel that zigzags and goes all over the goddamn place. And you don't know where you're going. So where we started, we were on the first cavern, the first hallway, and it was just a cavern, like a cave. And it was like right above our heads. So we started down this hall, we're like, all right, let's just do this. And as you're, as we're walking, we can kind of hear like things in the wall. Like we can hear people talking, but we don't know if it's people like ahead of us. Or ghosts. Or ghosts. You just, it, you really feel like you hear them. And I remember pretty soon I felt really, really, um, not claustrophobic, but I felt like, bad and wrong. I felt like there was like a, a weight on my chest. I felt, um, uh, I don't, what's the right word for yeah, it? I just, there's you, no it right was like, you it. get chills and like, there's just, got just a bad feeling. Yeah, there's just a morbid feeling in the air and it, it was just like telling me to leave. We waited two hours for this and we, we weren't going to be able to experience it again. Or yeah. we might not. So we were just like, we're going to, I was, in my head I was like, we're going to do this. And, um, there was a point, had him, it's been a while since we passed anyone who could 20, 30 minutes since we've seen We haven't seen person. anyone, yeah. like not one person. And that's what was just giving us so much anxiety. I was like, I just want to see someone. I don't want to hear them on the side of the wall, like hear them on the wall. I want to like see someone. So we get to the end of the first hall. We're like, okay, this must be the big room where we get to see all the cool, like the skulls and the bones and like all the artifacts. But no, yeah, we turned that little corner and it was another long hall of the same thing. And it, this one got even smaller. It was like, right here on our heads. Yeah, no. And then I was, um, I started taking pictures and I remember, Aaron, I never, I thought Aaron would be freaking out because I think he's a little bit of claustrophobic, but um, just he just wasn't just freaking out. He was actually a really, really good sport. And I was trying to play it along that I was a good sport even though I was freaking out. <laughs> and uh, I started taking pictures of him in the hall. He, I remember he was smiling and when I took a picture, his, by the time I, moved the camera down his face like the smile went just complete all the color in his face just drained away and his smile just kind of flipped and it was just like this wave that went like this <sighs> like happy really and then like really really like just terrified I'm totally really and he right looked now. at me with his eyes shaking and he was like we gotta go and I was like wait what are you talking about he's like we gotta go and that's all he said to me and I was like okay and so we were gonna head back through the entrance. And, um, but I was like, okay, we're not gonna see much, so I'm gonna take a couple more pictures. I took the last picture, snapped it, and then turned around and started following Aaron out. When John was at, when John was like, oh my God, like, your face, like, I was like, I know, I know, I just, I gotta get out of here. Like, I had to go. So I, I don't know what came over me. I mean, this feeling was kind of like what you felt like. It was just like a weight, like I felt terrified, like I just felt this darkness come over me where it was like, I just gotta get out of here. Like, I don't yeah. know, it was part anxiety, I think, I think it did, it was part anxiety. You would have said something like, I don't know if I could do this, or something like yeah. leading up so it wasn't such a like, a rush, a point, rush like I'm yeah. done. This but one, like, I, I'm usually a good sport, I mean like, I don't know, but this time I was like, no, I gotta get out of here. So. I mean, like, I wanted to bolt, like, I wanted to, I didn't want to go through the maze, I wanted to go back the way we came, even though it was still another hall, I was like, okay, I'm out of here. So, we went back and tried to go, you know, like, we went all the way back, went back up the spiral staircase, we're passing people on the way down, yeah, and they're like, then there was like people, what, what yeah. are you, are you guys and coming back up? Mind we're you, like, some no, of them I'm were, out of here. Mind you, some of them were like an eight-year-old girl, like, <laughs> that was really embarrassing. That was very embarrassing. Um, but, so we finally got out. Freedom like I could breathe again like I felt like I could breathe again. I was like, I'm so sorry Like I know we just like paid that money everything, but I can take it and Yeah, and, and that's what we, it, right? we were sharing like how we were both feeling. Yeah, we were both, like no They were just like it was like this weird presence. It was just like a just like dark. It was just like I mean, it's, it was just sinister down there. It was, it was creepy. At it least felt for us, death. At least. Like you know. feel, like death. you feel exactly. death. You like it's weird. Death in there. Like you feel like you're with death. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It was like walking with the Grim Reaper down there. Like yeah. you couldn't see him, but you knew he was there. So um, fast forward to a couple. What two was it, weeks like a month? after it was we got back. Two weeks. So oh, two after, weeks after we got after back. that, we were in Paris for another two days or so and then we flew to Spain and we were in Barcelona for a couple of days and that's a whole other story home. though yeah <laughs> story time but two weeks after we got back we were 
going to Disneyland, right? Yeah, we were we hanging out with Cliff and Amanda. And they are so into all that ghost but stuff. But we didn't know, because we just, at this point, we just started really hanging out with Cliff and Amanda. They were just, just started kind of meeting our friends. Yeah, and we were sharing stories about, like, um, all of our scary stories, like ghost stories that we've had, because we live in a abandoned, like, no, abandoned. Uh, we live in a haunted We live in an apartment. abandoned house. No, we, li we live in a, um, a haunted apartment building. So we're exchanging stories and telling everything about that and how they're so much into it. Yeah, so we told them about the catacombs and Cliff was like, I want to see pictures so bad. And I was like, oh, you know, it's on my phone actually. Cause I remember we were, it was on my phone when I was taking pictures. Cause it wasn't, it was on the camera and the phone, but I had some on my phone. And so I showed him and you could see the pictures of Aaron. He saw the <laughs> last picture on my iPhone that I had taken right before we left. And of that hallway where Aaron got the feeling and was got, like, like, yeah. like, get out kind of feeling, and get out feeling. I was showing it to Cliff like this and he was like, he looked at it, grabbed my phone, went like this to zoom in. Real, this is like super fast. It was not like a couple minutes of looking at it. He just grabbed my phone, instantly went like this to zoom in down the hall and there was a figure there. It was, looked like a shadow man. And Cliff was like, that's exactly what Cliff said. Cliff was like, that's a shadow man. This was but, the first time we both saw it. Like, we were just flipping through the photos like earlier that day. Cause we were like, oh cool, like our Paris trip. And we were just like, yeah, we didn't even notice the picture at all. And then all of a sudden, like it's totally different picture to us. Cause we're like, what oh, the? Oh, so terrifying. It was so weird because it was like, literally, I took that picture literally 10 seconds after Aaron said, we gotta go. I can't be here. We can't be here. He snapped the last shot yeah. before we left, so he's like, we want to remember this moment that we were down here. I and... just wanted to take as many pictures as I could before we like, because we weren't going to see a lot, and yeah. that was the last picture I took. So... It was a human shape. Yeah, it was a human shape, and no one was in front of us. There was no one. We checked the hall. We looked at the hall when we went out. There was no one there. It's, it's been like 20, 30 minutes before we even passed another person. Yeah, it would have been a huge like rectangle shape at the end of the, the hallway. That's all it would have been, Yeah, not a shape. So, okay, I know, that's right. scary. Why do we say that? Now we have to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys like this new scary story that we yeah. had. We love you. Have a great love night. You guys. And we'll see you again for another and scary story time. For those of you who know him, Sir Frederick the and Fourth wishes you a very happy Halloween. So does Why Safe though? Trick or Treat. Why though? <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Bye, love you. Mwah. You know? I don't think I've ever seen a challenge where one of them has gotten it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think every time they've done this challenge, everyone's failed. Let's try to win. Let's try okay, to win let's this try to be the, Let's try to let's be, try to be that, that couple yeah. that knows every inch of that person's let's do body. It. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Okay.